Welcome to um, September Surrey Heath Business Breakfast. Um, we've got a, a three very um, interesting and different speakers today, um, who I'll introduce as we as we go through the speeches. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Steve and I'm here to talk to you this morning about Collectively Camberley. About a year ago I started to get involved with Collectively Camberley, which is a business improvement district, also known as a BID. So um, interesting the, the introduction there from Moira because what we're talking about here is the businesses in Camberley have got together in the town centre and we're paying a 1.5% levy on our business rates to, into a, a, a company called Collectively Camberley and that money is being spent back on the town centre to improve everything for all of the businesses within that area. Good morning everyone. Um, I'm here today to talk about those little green buttons but I thought I'd like to start on a comedic note. Um, Waitrose recently launched a Twitter campaign. Have any of you heard about this? <laughs> Why I like shopping at Waitrose, which led to the, the biggest response one, on Twitter, which I love the best, Waitrose. that ties us into the conversation today, is I shop at Waitrose because those green tokens that they give are the currency of the future. And that rang a resonance with me. Five years ago, Waitrose started off with the green token system, and on your table, you have a green token. In the first of the two bronze matches, 21-year-old Ukrainian Irina Kinzerska fought veteran Britain Karina Bryant. It was an excellent contest, which saw the 33-year-old from London come from behind to win it, to her delight and that of the home crowd. We set up a charity, but the charity um, uh, was done deliberately so that people really understood that this isn't for profit, this is everything that's generated goes back into this charity. Um, and it had two very, very important remits. One's a community remit and to get kids engaged in sport. And judo is a really good sport for kids. It's got discipline, 